Hello everybody. Today, I want to introduce you to ISO 14063, Environmental Communication before that. Here is content for this video. Introduction to ISO 14063, 1.0 scope, 3.0 term and definitions notes that 2.0 normative reference not include as there no normative reference in the document ISO 14063 to 2020. The rise of climate change in international talks and in the social media, the word environment comes along which become public concerns and interests. Latter influences institutional policy and actions on environment. Due to that, organizations have the need to communicate their environmental values, actions and performance. Factors such as organizations' geographic location and distribution, size and types of activities has influenced the information that need to be communicated. There are eight motivations that fuel the need and want of an organization to communicate their environmental value, actions and performance. One of it is the interest of the organization to share information on its environmental practices, or at a request for information by employees or investors, a government agency, a community group, a customer or supplier, or any other interested party, beside that the need to discuss with interested parties especially with target groups, a proposed action of the organization, such as expansion of an existing facility, or sitting of a new facility or the introduction of a new products. Next to obtain information and communicate it through environmental risk management. Moreover, the organization need to comply obligations requirement in communicating their environmental values, action and performance. Plus, a good organization need to respond suggestions from interested parties either negative or positive in ethically manner. Also, defense organization environmental agendas by response to false, malicious accusations of environmental impropriety. Not to forget the ever-increasing importance of addressing environmental issue that can be communicated via environmental communication guideline. The motivations of environmental communication will base the process of sharing information to forge trust, credibility and partnership. To increase awareness and valuable tools in decision making. Notes that environmental communication much broader than environmental reporting as it have many purpose and forms. It can ad hoc or planned in characteristics. Ad hoc environmental communication are supplementary in character, as it not reacts upon request. Such as facility manager answering question in a community event. Planned environmental communication vary depend on the types of communications that classify into three. One-way communication. One-way communication happen when the organization distribute information with no questions or discussion like environmental report. Two-way communication. Two-way communication happen with an exchange of information and ideas among the organization and interested parties. In participatory decision making. In participatory decision making happen as the organization collaborate with interested parties with result in effective feedback for the organizations in the local community. What is the benefits of environmental communications? Benefits of environmental communication are many such assisted interested parties in understanding an organization's environmental commitments, policies and performance. Other than that, provide inputs or suggestions for improving the environmental performance of an organization's activities, products and services and progress towards sustainability. Scope The scope of ISO 14063 is gives guidelines to organization for general principles, policy, strategy and activities relating to both internal and external environmental communication. Use some of credible and well-established ways for communications, which adapted to the specific conditions that exist in environmental communication. This guideline can be fit to any organizations regardless their size, type, location, structure, activities, products and services, and whether or not they have an environmental management system in place. Besides that, it can be used in any combinations with any ISO 14000 family of standard or on its own. It is worth to note that ISO 14020, ISO 14021, ISO 14024, ISO 14025 and ISO 14026 provide specific environmental communication tools and guidance relating to product labels and decorations. 
term and definitions. Environmental communication is a process that an organization conducts to provide and obtain information and to engage in dialogue with internal and external interested parties. Encourage a shared understanding on environmental issues, aspects and performance. Environmental communication policy overall intentions and directions of an organization related to its environmental communication as formally expressed by top management. Environmental communication strategy organization framework for implementing its environmental policy and for the setting of environmental communication objectives. Organization is a person or group of peoples that has its own functions with responsibilities, authorities and relationships to achieve its objectives. Interested party is a person or organization that can be affect, be affected by, or perceive it to be affected by a decision or activity. Target group is interested party. Parties selected as the focus of an organization's environmental communication activity. Environmental communication objective is a result which is consistent with the environmental communication policy that an organization sets itself to achieve as part of its environmental strategy. Social media online media and practices that people use to share opinions, insight, experiences and perspective with each other. Transforming traditional one-to-many into many-to-many -many interaction. Let go with some quiz. Are you ready? The first question. Types of planned environmental communication are. A. One-way communication. B. Two ways communication. C. In participatory decision making. D. Ad hoc environmental communication. One, two, three, four, five. The answer is A, B and C. Second question. Does motivations for communication include environmental risk management? A. Yes. B. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The answer is a yes. The third question. Environmental communication is the process to gain the profit only from the interested parties. A. Yes. B. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The answer is B. No. That's all from this video. See you in the next topic, which is principle of environmental communication.